hi welcome back in this video we are going to looking into ArrayList class so ArrayList class is a very important candidate of java collections framework and ArrayList class implements list interface and list interface internally extends collection interface well let's quickly take a look into the ArrayList class overview now ArrayList is resizable array also called a dynamic array and it grows its size to accommodate new elements and shrinks the size when the elements are removed. Well ArrayList internally uses a dynamic array okay, and it grows its size to accommodate new elements and shrink the size when the elements are removed. It means that uh, ArrayList will increase and decrease its size as per our requirement. So whenever you are not sure about the size of an array then you should go for array list because array list will increase and decrease its size as per our requirement so array list internally uses a resizable array let me dig dig dive dive into the array list source code and let me show you how it internally uses an array so i am in eclipse id and this project uh, we have created in previous video and uh, this is the workspace for throughout this series this is the GRE system library inside that you can find a whole lot of jar files and rt.jar so this jar file contains all the code packages and we are going to look into java.util package and I list class uh, you know present in java.util package so let's go ahead and let's find out java.util package here yeah here it is and let's find out our list class yeah here it is so I have already installed a decompiler in Eclipse so that I can able to decompile dot class files. Double click on our list class. All right. So in order to you know view the source code of dot call file dot class files, you have to first install decompiler in Eclipse. And I have already shown you in one of the video how you can install a decompiler uh, in Eclipse. So what you can need to do is you should uh, go to the help section and here is a eclipse market in eclipse market just search for decompiler and uh, you will find a hanas decompiler option and you can just install it okay great uh what it is let me double click on one more time yeah here we go so this is the source code of our list class okay and look at here our list class implements list interface and our list class is a generic class and you can pass any type to the array list and our list internally extends abstract list class and all the you know uh, common methods are implemented in abstract list and look at here apart from list interface array list class also implements random access clonable and serializable interfaces and look at here the de default capacity of array list is 10 so remember default capacity of array list is 10 so this is an array that uh, you know array list internally uses so you can deep dive into the source code of array list class and you can understand how the array list internally implemented well if you look at your array list class has a couple of uh, constructors so this is the array list constructor uh, here we need to pass a argument that is initial capacity if you don't pass initial capacity then probably you need to call uh, this uh, default constructor or uh, no argument constructor and if you call this no argument constructor then by default the capacity is 10 if you go to this variable uh, this will internally invoke default capacity okay great So look at here it will get a default capacity and default capacity is 10 okay if you don't specify capacity to the array list by default it is 10 well uh, by looking into the source code of the array list class we understood that array list internally implements list interface apart from list interface it will implement a random access clonable and serializable interfaces and the default capacity of array list is 10 and it internally uses array to you know store the elements and there are uh, three uh, constructors in a array list class no argument constructor and one more is array list 
constructor here we need to pass initial capacity and one more at list constructor here we need to pass a collection okay so this is the constructor that we need to use to create a, a collection from another collection well this is all about internal implementation of array list and there are a lot of apis over there so in example section we will understand uh, the you know important methods of array list class so i just shown you right internal implementation of array list class so array list class internally uses array to store the elements and array uses index to represent the elements so array list also uh, you know uses indexes to retrieve elements add elements etc and array list allows duplicate and null values so we can store a duplicate elements and null values in array list and array list is an order collection and it maintains the insertion order of in elements it means that in whatever order we insert elements to an array list in the same order it will display all right and you cannot create array list top primitive types like int char etc you need to use a box type that is wrapper classes like integer character boolean etc so array list uh, is a generic class right and generic does not support primitives so array list uh, you know we cannot create with primitive types like in character so whenever you want to store a numbers like integer number or characters boolean we, ha we have to use a wrapper classes so alternative to uh, primitive types we have a wrapper classes in java right so whenever you want to store primitive type then you have to use a wrapper classes with array list okay so this we will see in example section array list is non synchronized it means that array list is not a thread set so whenever multiple threads try to modify an array list object at the same time then there could be a non deterministic result all right and if you want to use array list in multi threaded environment then you should have to explicitly synchronize array list class so in collections uh, framework we have collections utility class so collections utility class provides a couple of synchronized methods to synchronize array list and other collection classes as well all right guys this is all about collection class overview in next video we'll deep dive into array list class examples all right guys i will see you in a next video